Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Is that a Colt Model 1860 belly gun in his pants? Or is he just happy to be making another YouTube video? Well, guess what? It is a Colt Model 1860 belly gun. <laughs> hey, everybody, how's it going? Sorry for that introduction, but I had to do it. So basically what we got here is a concealed carry version of the Colt Model 1860 Army 44 caliber black powder ball and cap revolver. This revolver was widely used during the American Civil War. After the Civil War was over, a lot of these revolvers hit the surplus market. Civilians were snatching up left and right, and a lot of these headed west. A lot of them stayed home, but a lot of them headed west. People needed a concealed carry version of this revolver. So what they were doing was they were cutting the barrel down in order to slide this revolver into your waistline and conceal the revolver a lot easier. In doing so, once in order to cut this barrel down, you're going to have to remove the loading lever. So you lost your loading lever and then you're going to lose your front sight. Well, these they're belly guns. They were meant for up close and personal. So you would just whip this out of your belt and just point and shoot. So you really didn't need a front sight. The Piata version has a front sight on it. You can also see there's a difference in the grip. This would be the original grip. This would not be the original grip on these revolvers. This grip is from a later Colt model, the Colt Lightning. So they just, Piata paired these two together to make a nice, I mean, it would have been nice if it was like this back in the day, but it wasn't. But this, the two combinations make a really nice handling little pistol. She seats really good in the palm of your hand. I really like the grip on this a lot better than the grip on this. So not 100% accurate. All right, since you don't have the loading lever, how do you load this? Well, basically pretty similar to loading that, except for instead of a loading lever, they give you this little brass rod right here with the palm swell on it. So you're going to put your powder, your wad, and then you're going to seat your ball with this brass rod. Well, I can guarantee you, you're not going to be able to do it by using the palm of your hand. You're going to want to use a uh, rubber mallet or block of wood, and you're going to have to tap that round into the cylinder, which I don't think will be a big deal. Just not as easy as using the loading lever. So I'm going to put some caps through it, just caps only. I did clean this. I tore it apart, cleaned it, cleaned out the cylinder, cleaned out the uh, nipples, the barrel. I'm going to put six caps on it and fire just the caps to make sure that there's no obstructions, cleans out any oil that I may have missed in the uh, nipples. Then I'm going to load her up six, six rounds and fire it for the very first time. Okay, here we go. I got my reproduction Colt Model 1860 Army belly gun loaded up with six rounds of 44 caliber ball, ball and cap. First time I'm going to shoot it. I put six caps through it, just caps to make sure the nipples were clear. So now I've got powder and ball. Let's we'll see how she does. <laughs> She's loud. Last one. <laughs> and we're clear. There she is. She is a beaut. <laughs> 